Today I went for a present. I ended up with two bags of, of other things, groceries and things like that. He isn't alone. This dad says he came here to the Target in Manhattan Beach to just buy new clothes for his son. Then I realized I probably needed to buy more paper towels for him as well. You may have just needed some Ziploc bags or one or two items, and the next thing you know, you've got a cart full of stuff. Psychologists say that's the target effect. It's not snake oil salesmen. It is science about people's motivation, their perception, their needs, their, their uh, sometimes insecurity. Psychologist Mo Gelbart says the so-called target effect is how retailers manipulate and influence people's buying behavior. They are reading our minds, and they're doing a better job of reading our minds than we are. How? With placement, number one, you know, where they place certain items versus other items. Apparently, it works. There's certain things that are, that I see, I go, oh my God, how do I live without that? <laughs> And end up buying it. Galbart says the target effect also taps into our desire for a deal. Give you the perception that you're getting a bargain. Something is $9.99 instead of $10. He says that's why people buy in bulk at places like Costco, even him. I can't tell you how many things I've bought that I didn't need. He says the target effect is also effective online and says there should also be an Amazon effect. Three, four clicks. At a moment, I was impulsive and said, I want that. How can you avoid the target effect? Take a breath and say, do I really need this? And if the answer is yes... They have a return policy and we can always return everything. Donna Lewis only needed cat litter. And you stuck to that? Well, I do have two other things. <laughs> mm. Victim of the target effect. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> In Manhattan Beach, Joe Kwan, CBS2 News.